So we're just going to show you a basic hookup of, of the rabbit ears. On the top portion, uh, the, the bottom portion is exactly the same. So what we have are uh, PEX rings, as you can see. We have a PEX tube. It's one and three eighths in width, or in length, I should say. Your ring goes on our, our pre-machined PEX fitting top. We drop it on. We, take, we have, have a second ring on our PEX fitting. Goes on top. We close it down. Make sure they're nice and taut. We use our clamp to clamp the PEX on. Make sure it's nice and sturdy. We then add our tube and we'll give you the length of this tube, not supplied. What we do supply is a sleeve. This is a silicone high temperature sleeve. Not that it's required because cold water is going through here most of the time or relatively warm water up to maybe 120 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's about it. This sleeve slides over the PEX, protecting it as a secondary means of protecting it. It's a tight fit, so it'll take you a little bit. You might use a little bit of uh, grease or something just to close it. And as you can see, it just fits just enough that then you take your set, your next ring, you attach it to this side, and then you push it in. And then you use your crimping tool again on these fittings. And there you have the assembly of the first the top part with lots of room for the pipe to fit in between this, okay? You would do the same thing for the bottom except the PEX tube comes out straight from the bottom. And then we offer two more sleeves for incidental touching that you can align anywhere along the PEX that you want. Uh, but we also supply this high temperature ceramic mat that will protect uh, the heat from the stove uh, uh, from the rabbit ears and isolate it, insulate it. And then you can use this if, if you do have incidental touching on your stove from this, you can add these tubes onto your sleeve, just like we did at top. And that offers you further protection of your PEX tube from overheating. Thank you very much.